Welcome to Artist Spotlight, where New York City Pride sets the virtual stage for queer artists. Whether you want to get to know some of these artists more, or you're looking to add someone new to your playlist, this is the place to do it. We started this series last year in the midst of the pandemic with artists like J-Line, Emma Jane, Madam Gandhi, and many, many more. It came at a time where folks just really felt like they needed to connect, and these artists were able to share their talent and connect with our audience one-on-one. -on -one. This is the perfect time to bring it back. Why? Because New York City Pride has recently released their 2021 theme, The Fight Continues, and so do we. So let's continue to elevate queer artists. Tune in here, meet some of our talented friends, and celebrate Pride. I'm David Correa, and this is Artist Spotlight. I am super excited to welcome our first guest to Artist Spotlight this season. This triple threat is an artist in every sense of the word. Maybe you've caught yourself Netflix and chilling with them. Maybe you've been listening to their music for a long time now. Maybe you've ended up in an endless scroll on their IG feed filled with all the queer things that dreams are made of. For me, it was all three and more. I can't wait to get into it. So please welcome to Artist Spotlight, the incomparable Kat Cunning. Hi, uh, hi. what an introduction. I'm so honored, thank you. It was so great to have you here. I'm so excited. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. It's a pleasure. Well, let's get into it. We are so happy to have you here at Artist Spotlight for New York City Pride. It's important for us to elevate queer artists and especially because sometimes the stories of queer people come with some struggle. As a non-binary person, what does the fight continues mean to you? I think specifically as a non-binary person, the fight is, it's like in minutia, it's in microaggressions and our everyday interaction with each other. And I think that mostly, specifically speaking to being non-binary, it's, I like to stand for the fact that your gender identity has nothing to do with your gender representation. The way that I look to some people, like the most feminine Goldilocks, <laughs> um, has nothing to do with how I identify. And so I try in my everyday interactions to normalize introducing pronouns, which I wanna say you did that when we just met and I really appreciate that. And to also just normalize standing up for other people's pronouns and, and making it a more common acceptable thing. But alongside that, I think the struggles of being gay, LGBT, all the traditional stuff, it's just still here, unfortunately. Same with racism and all those struggles that the original marches were about. I think we're all still fighting for the same things to be on the same page about love being a right for everyone and, and identity and respect being a right for everyone. Absolutely, and I think what's really important too is as folks spending time in New York, living in New York, we have the privilege of being free and able to express openly. Now, you are like New York royalty to me. Thank you. Uh, like, can we play a little game? Yes. Okay. I love so, games. Oh, awesome. So it is a little Would You Rather, okay. the royalty edition of yeah. music. Okay. So, I'm going to give you two artists and you have to tell me who you would rather perform with. Do a duet. Oh, I thought you were going to say have sex with. I was so ready. Oh, we can do that too. No, it's okay. It's okay. Let's do <laughs> Okay. We'll, we'll do the PG-13. Okay. Um, let's do Queen's Freddie Mercury or Disco Royalties Sylvester. Love, love both, but gotta say Freddie Mercury. I mean, come on. Never have I ever bawled louder in a theater than in that movie. And usually I hate recreations. I hate like biopics usually because they just aren't it. But I was just like audibly sobbing because it was so nice to see that story. And what a performer, what a performer, what great music. The, the theatricality of Bohemian Rhapsody is something that like our music is really missing now in this era. And live spaces encourage people to write that way. And yeah. She's just such an icon. Yeah, a live version of We Are the Champions kills me every time. Every time? I mean, come every on. Time. 
Incredible. Right, well, let's give you let's give you another one. Uh, her war- royal twerkness, yeah. Big Frida, or King Princess. I gotta say King Princess. I've been a fan since the beginning. You know, I was like, who is this sassy kid coming out here singing about queerness, looking all sassy? I don't know. She's just <laughs> doing it right. I love it. I love all of her music. I love the way the music is made with her voice so far up front and that like delicious guitar sounds. I would love to collaborate with her. All right, one last one. Sir Elton John or Lady Gaga? Oh, come on. That's just I know. I I, I can give you a pass. I can give you a pass. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Lady Gaga because I just would love to like fall off of pianos next to her. Like she's the queen of like fucking going for it in shoes and looks. And I know obviously Elton John is too, but she's just injured herself like more than anyone I know on stage. And I want to rock and roll that hard with her. I definitely find myself stalking YouTube videos of live performances <laughs> like her Super Bowl. Yes. I can't. I it's can't. amazing. It's amazing. She is, I often cite that performance and say, like, can't wait to play the Super Bowl. Gonna have to come down from this. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, or, or what else? What more can you do? I don't know. She's great. I love her. And I yeah. love her as an actor as well. That was really yeah. cool because I'm also an actor. So it was really cool to see her live a whole life in maximalism and then say I'm a human also in acting. I really love that juxtaposition and that's why I do both. So yeah. Got and that. you're so good at it. Let, let's talk a little bit about that too. So I, I mentioned this a little bit before in the pre-interview, but you were my last party in New York. I saw you at the Paradise Club in Times Square where you emceed you danced, you sang, you did it all. And I think that's why your fans love you so much because you do so much. You pop up everywhere, like The Deuce, <laughs> Trinkets on Netflix. Yes. I hear that you are doing a film with my Puerto Rican queen, J-Lo. Yes, I am. And I'm so excited. Can you it's tell been- us a little bit about it? Yes, I can. I It is called Marry Me and it's going to be an iconic hilarious, good feels rom-com story about marriage a little bit. And it's also obviously because it's JLo and she can only continue going up from here because she's queen. You know, she served us like real acting and hustlers and now she's about to like serve you the best rom-com of your life plus pop star realness on top of that. So I'm really excited to be anywhere near her in a movie. And um, yeah, it's really, really fun. I get to play her assistant with a twist. I can't tell you that part. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead. too. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't seen it yet. And when it comes out, I'm going to watch it in the theaters. And I'm going to be yelling at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's dig into your music. I want to talk about this track, Confident. Uh, it dropped at the top of March. Yes. Tell us about it. Tell us about the lyrics. What does it mean to you? What does this new music that you're putting out say about cat cutting i am so excited about the song confident basically i feel like a lot of my lyricism from the beginning of my career and a lot of the stuff that's out already is very um ethereal and theatrical and poetic and during the pandemic i went through a breakup and i just got real curt and i just wanted to say exactly what i wanted to say and in this song it's like very conversational and i'm literally just asking my partner or person i'm dating if they are confident enough to be with me. And this song is really about like having done all your work to love yourself and then knowing that that's really precious and that your mental health is really precious and that your sex is really precious and all of that or whatever, just your energy. And I'm really excited about this era of music because it is aesthetically way more an homage to the pop stars that really inspired me to want to do this in the beginning. I'm really inspired in the video with the dance and the fashion by like, the original icons for me, which were Beyonce and her Beyonce film and Janet and just for their like sexual empowerment and strength and confidence. So I'm really excited that it's out in the world and that I I hope people are dancing to it, even if they're only in their houses. I am so excited and I can't wait for folks to check it out. Uh, Let's talk about another song. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind just giving folks a little inside scoop to something that's coming down the road, boys. 
I would love to. This song is an anthem for trans masculine people. It's also an anthem for anyone who's ever felt a little like they need to run away to be accepted um, or like they're different really. And it's just a celebration of people who feel different. But I wrote it as a love note to the first trans masculine person that I met and fell in love with. Um, I've realized that it has a lot more to do with my identity. I wrote it before I came out as non-binary. And so the song in a way is also an acceptance speech to myself for the way that I feel about my gender. And I hope it just makes people explode with joy and acceptance of themselves and dance. That's great. And I think if you wouldn't mind, I'd, I'd love to let folks know now that you will be joining us again in June at our Youth Pride event, performing I'm so boys. excited. Yes. It, it is, I will tell you, it's probably one of the most impactful events that, that we produce here at New York City Pride. And it is so incredible to see so many artists come and really do exactly what I think boys is meant to do, help folks feel great about themselves, help young people feel great about themselves. Yes. There is nothing more important than reminding queer youth that they are valid and important and that there's, and, and showing, exposing them to the fact that, that they can grow up and be awesome and safe and whatever they want to be. You know, young queer people don't always live in accepting homes. And I know for myself, even though I did live in an accepting home, finding outlets and finding icons and representation was so, so, so important. So I love that you guys see this event and I'm really excited to be a part of the celebration. Yeah, we can't wait to have you. And, you know, creating that safe space is not always easy work. It's it's not work that's unfamiliar to you. Uh, do you mind giving us a little bit about the work that you're telling us a little bit about the work that you're doing with the Ally Coalition? Yes, I am so excited. The Ally Coalition and Lava Republic Records are teaming up to essentially create a safe space online as we are in a pandemic um, for people to gather and send messages of love and support and acceptance. It's also alongside a fundraiser that will obviously support trans and non-binary youth and lots of other great causes. So hopefully it's just a safe space for all types of people that it will also direct them to hotlines so they can find more support. But it's just a reminder that there are people out there listening who can support you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this for us, for joining us today, for being a part of Youth Pride, for doing all the work that you do, for representing non-binary people, for putting trans people on the platform that they deserve to be put on. Hell yeah. Uh, we, yes, trans people started it. Started it. We thank you. Started it. Also, so, you're amazing. I, again, I am a huge fan of yours and I want to remind folks to keep an eye on your socials. Yes. On your website. Keep an eye on the socials for more releases and also for the information about the collaboration between the Ally Coalition and Label and um, all the new upcoming stuff. Lots of shows, lots of stuff. I'm so excited that you guys are helping to keep Pride alive and fun in this year that has been difficult to feel connected. And I'm really excited to bring the heat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks, Kat. Thank you. Performing confident, please give it up for my new friend, Kat Cunning. <laughs> Not to wait, but it's almost 11 now. Why are you acting out? I don't have time for your shit. My ego's too big, and I know I can't be fragile. But I made you my pride, put you up in the sky. So call me when you calm down to tell me if you're confident, confident that you can hold me. You're so on me, on me next. You need to tell me, are you on the, on the fence? You need to tell me, are you confident? Yeah, do you know what, what you have? I gave you diamonds when she gave you, gave you half. You play too much, girl, it's just common, common sense. You need to tell me, are you confident? Confident. Hey. Yeah. You told me you were my everything, and you said 
That you would wear my name But I'm not trying to spell it out for you I'm not trying to teach a lesson I'll just give you what you're missing Don't have time for your shit My ego's too big And I know I can't get stressed out So just say it how you want it Go get a bonus Show me how it feels now to tell me if you're confident, confident that you can hold me, you so on me, on me next. You need to tell me how you wanna on the fence. You need to tell me all you confident. You do you know what? What you have? I gave you diamonds, but she gave you, gave you half. You play too much, girl. It's just common, common sense. You need to tell me all you confident. Ooh. You swear that you want it, you want it all So tell me why I'm waiting on your call back You know I'm not trying to send But girl, if you leave me, then you'd be a blip on my map All my history, just play and say you miss me Cause I know that you do, but I can't speak for you Thanks for stopping by Artist Spotlight Stay tuned here and follow us to check out more queer artists. And of course, keep an eye on our socials and our website for more Pride updates. See you soon.